Big charge attack, I don't think he realized that yet. That, that could be a problem. I, I feel like screaming it out to him, but it looks like he notices. Yeah, it looks yeah. like he knows. All right. Again, definitely like check your controls before you begin the match because, I don't know, bad things have happened to people who don't. Yeah, bad things happen. Like they don't uh, return. They get they get banished from the winner's side of bracket. Oh yeah, they get banished completely. I wish John Lennon had the the John Lennon glasses, those those T-shaped glasses. That would just that would fit perfectly. All right, so I can't tell. Who is playing uh, who? Because so, the so names Al don't match. So Atlas is playing Chrome and John Lennon is playing Alpha. Okay. Atlas is playing Chrome. Now, for this matchup, I think out of all the spaces, uh, I could be totally wrong, but I feel like Wolf has an okay time against Sorties because he has disjoints of his own. Um, even though like his, uh, his ground speed is kind of meh, that aerial mobility is pretty sweet. All right, now Atlas, ooh, with the spacing, that was a good jab. I mean, at this point, like, Chrom is all about, like, how well can you play in neutral? How well can you get those single hits into combo, into the more extended combos? Mm -hmm. That's most sorties, it would appear, or at least the very, you know, cookie cutter ones. And uh, that speed, that ground speed is going to make a huge difference, I think, in this uh, matchup. Nice. There's the jab, the forward air, and then... Uh, you know, I, I, I don't agree with the charging neutral B at lag. I don't know? either. It never works. Yeah. It, 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 it's to force options is what I see. Like, people try to, like, react quickly to it, and then they, you know, the the Chrom will start to read what they do in response to it. I feel like you should do that, like, once they're, like, on ledge, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a lot better with Ike. Way better with Ike, because I've never had that move hit me in, like, the six months that <laughs> this game has been out, or at least in an edge guarding situation. Speaking of edge guarding situation, uh, Wolf had one. But just chose to let it go at that point. Yeah, he did. That's okay. I like. I actually like the, the evasive maneuvers that he's taking, though. He's being very mindful and respecting Crumb's hitboxes, which you should be doing. There we go. Yeah. Not just rushing in blindly. Like, that's what you usually see from Wolf. Like, they just be like, okay, you're landing. Let me hit you with a fair. And so he's like, no, let, let me see how you're going to land first. Because yeah. if you counter, then that's a free grab for me. Yeah, it's smart. Like, people try, it's like, oh, well, you have better range than me. Let me close the distance so you're at an uncomfortable place. But John Lemon's not doing that. And I think good players uh, are very noteworthy of that. Okay, the roll. Hey, he hasn't been going for those. Yep. So that was a good little mix up in the neutral there. Okay, good stuff. You know, Atlas, I feel like he's not really playing to his strengths as well as he could with Tom, you know? I think it, I think when he is utilizing his strengths, he's using it quite well, but he's not being as defensive as he could be right. because John Lemon knows how he's moving already. So he's just sort of avoiding it. Nice. There we go. Very good. I, I, I like that kind of aggression where, like, I feel like Atlas is the, that full first stock, at least up until that point. He was just throwing out fair or jab, just praying it lands, you know, and not really thinking like, okay, what is he going to do in defensive option? But you saw right there, he dashed in and dashed out, baiting out the air, the spot dodge, and used that to get the board kill for the kill. Yeah, that's what happens when you're aware of your own, what your, your own patterns are. You have to be mindful of what you're doing so you know what they're trying to do in response. It's all about action and react, you know. How do they react? And I like what he did there, because you know, a lot of comps don't like to go for that back air, but ooh, that, that down smash charge, I don't agree with it. I feel like if, if you're going to ledge trap with Chrom, with you should forward tilt. Because forward tilt hits below stage, and it covers uh, roll and normal get up at the like, right distance. I respect the mix-up. You know, if you do the same thing every time, you know, people are going to start to read what you're doing. Ooh, there we go. There's that jab to back air. The old reliable. Yeah. I mean, that's one of those reasons, like, you need to learn how to roar bear, especially with the, the common roar. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that you, like, you must attack cancel uh, the jab in the back air, but you don't. You, I mean, it helps, I'm sure, but, like, you can get that no problem without it. I mean, the other characters I would say you need to learn how to roar against is, or roar with is, like, Palutena for her bear. Like, any character with, like, a good, like, bear, uh, Palutena, Cloud, even Wolf in certain circumstances, like being able to roar bear is like so key to their neutral. Just learn how to roar bear in general. No matter who you play, just learn how to do it. Yes, I'll be able to. Nice! Hey! Okay, that only worked because he didn't snap the ledge. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> people were like, Index, shut up, man. 
This, this move never hit. This move doesn't hit, Index. You're an idiot. Like, no, he just didn't snap the ledge. He didn't, yeah, he didn't. I, like, to be fair, it was Wolf, so I mean, yeah. in this particular matchup, you know, not the worst option. Especially yeah. if you know they're going to side me. But this is different. If we still see these neutral Vs. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to get a uh, command grab frame six yeah. as off of ledge. Ooh. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Bowser's strong, man. Bowser's super strong. And I think he still has like an up throw combo too. Oh my god, okay, that big hurt box though, already showing its, uh, its deficits here. I mean, the other thing is that Bowser is deceptively fast. Yeah, he is. Know? So, yet again, like, he can easily get up a whole lot of percent if you are not careful on how you approach him. Mm. But I like what I'm seeing. That was a really nice falling up air. Look at that. He got a lot of uh, percent off of that. But uh, that 20% grab from uh, from Bowser, man. Yet again, no, you can't just dash back and forth because Rom um, will just throw out that nair and, like, what are you going to do? Like, you can't just uh, dash in in front of it. You can try to parry. You can try to parry. You can try to parry, but you gotta parry the second hit or parry both hits. But like people that parry tend to parry only one hit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that up air almost. He had the read, but he didn't have the spacing. Uh, and a lot of empty hops too. I wonder if that's it, like intentional to try to get him, uh, you know, to react in a certain way. Okay. This actually could be the end. Yeah. There's a point. Yeah. When you get countered as Bowser, it sucks. That was a good up air. Oh, doing the jiggy. Nice grab, okay. Gets a re-grab off the edge guard, and yet again, there's the up I was, I was expecting more of that with uh, with, uh, with Bowser, just because, you know, it's so quick. It's Bowser. It's, yeah. <laughs> He's going to do it. Oh, yeah. oh. It's like one of the best, like, hey, you, you hit something on my shield. Like, you're going to get punished for doing that. Oh, you thought you were going to cross me up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. You have a disjoint, what is that? Let me up B. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, seriously, and it's good for catching rolls, it's good for catching landings, it, it can kill at really late percentage, but you know, you don't want to use up B as a kill move typically. I mean, if you're using up B as a kill move, like you Something are having, happened. Yeah. Something bad happened to you along the way. Oh, that was good. It's a good ledge catch option, you know? Oh my god. Fight your taxes, no, does your homework, it does everything. Your groceries. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's lit. And speaking of lit, I want to see a bit more flamethrower from this Bowser. I mean, right now is not a good time, but uh, that move can deal 40% to you by itself, dude. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, you have to catch them, like, on the ground. And you have to feel like, I feel like Tom is just going to be in the air to avoid that, like, most of the time. The second that he's off stage, though, and he thinks he can do that up B, if he's even one cent off of the, uh, off of the sweet spot, he's going to get caught by fire. Oh. You know, and at max range, like, that fire does have a wind box, so he can wind box him off stage, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's funny to think about. Okay, good recovery. I like it, I like it. Not quite getting... I, I'm not seeing a lot of the back airs, either. It's, like, nicely done. I mean, it's, it's hard for Bowser to get in, other than with Nair or forward air, uh, against a character like Krom. I mean, who needs that when you got a frame six, like, command grab? It'd be like, okay, if you're expecting the dash attack, you are going to get... Of like 20% off of the grab. Basically. Oh, yeah, easy, easy money. Okay. Oh, oh. just barely avoiding that neutral beat. Mm. I wish he had converted off of the Nair. I mean, Nair is basically what you convert off of pretty much anything with, with Bowser. Okay. Yeah, he's got to work on those conversions out of Nair. Good oh. grab. Wow. Went right into it. Oh, that was such a good idea, too. Trying to space out and get that forward tilt, but uh, not quite. And again. I like, I like, now both of these players are playing a lot more defensively. <gasps> oh, that's the oh. one thing you don't do. You don't roll into Krom. He got away with it, but oh boy. I mean, that could have been super bad, but gets the back air. There's the fair off stage. Where's that fire? No, nope, oh, nowhere no. to be found. Wow, you saw that up, uh, that up air hit from like behind. Oh my god, you know what? Krom is making this comeback all, like already at 76%. You know what? If he gets like another couple hits and he'll be at kill percent. Oh yeah, I think Bowser's at kill percent right now actually. That forward smash could take care of it. Ooh. I mean, I feel like now he's at kill percent if he gets like jab in the back air at ledge. It's free, or it's uh, it's not stale, so. It's pretty fresh. Man. Ooh, there's the upbeat. Not quite. And here's the edge guard. Oh no. Oh. Recovering so high, could have gotten forward tilted right there. Honestly, I, I'm ashamed that he didn't go for another pair because once you air dodge, you can't air dodge again. Nope. Yep. Okay, well, oh, oh my yeah. god. Did I, am I, I'm not the only one who thought he was just going to up B, right? 
I I figured like he might down air or like he might throw out some sort of